Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video actually is a new one that I will be adding into my weekly uploads. So I will actually now be doing a end of week uh, cash on stuff in life update. Um, uh, yeah, and just any little bits in there um, every week. So I'll be uploading this sort of from now on. I would say the Friday ish sometimes because I get paid Thursday evening. So say the Friday. So I'll probably upload my end of week on the Friday. Um, and then on the Saturday morning, I'll do my weekly fresh stuff and my wallet stuff in and then my challenge stuff in then on the Monday and then any other bonus video um, probably on that sort of Wednesday, Thursday um, during that week as well. So like happy mail and um anything sort of like that so i just want to welcome everyone back to the channel um yeah i thank you so much for all your subscriptions if you are interested in following the uh, dave ramsey style of budgeting um and his i guess philosophies uh that is what i i guess get my motivation from so to completely have no debt um we don't have any debt however we do have a little bit on the credit card at the moment which we haven't used for many years but if you have been following me um that's only because we had to add on some extra for some televisions from christmas and things like that which i know just excuses but i do know that we do have that bulk pay coming in um in a couple of weeks time that i can then pay that off completely so we will be completely debt free um in two weeks time so stick around for that um, we are saving to be three to six months ahead on all of our bills um, if anything was to happen to us as well as having a ten thousand dollar emergency fund um, setting ourselves up for investments and then um, also many many binders um, sort of having the money there for the bills when they come in so that is our organized way of uh, organizing our chaotic life um, and doing it in a fun way with, with challenges and things like that. So if any of that interests you and you are on a journey yourself into having either no debt, setting yourselves up financially, really just for some financial freedom. So yeah, follow along and push that bell notification. So first of all, what I will be doing is introducing um some look i haven't got the binder just yet i am waiting for amy to return from cash queens australia uh, from her holiday just till i get my few new binders that are coming which is really exciting because they're uh showing a lot of progress towards savings in general which is fantastic um because that's what really this is all about so um but i will show you the envelopes that she um that I will be using in that new binder now because I actually need them because I want to start stuffing my rollover and I've got nowhere to put it at the moment. So I did get this from um, Boss Girl Budgeting, Boss Girl Budgets on YouTube. I got it from her Etsy store. And I just want to check there's no address or whatever on here, <laughs> but I don't think so. Um, yeah, so I'll introduce these. All right, so we have course the thank you card i love all of her designs and how she does this thanks so much shan happy new year love lily she's lovely and i've got to say and i did have a sneak peek at these these are really really nice guys and our um my challenge binder envelopes are all done from lily as well so yeah she's you're great <laughs> and i love your channel as well cute little sticker stickers well that's cute care steps lovely i'm probably too rough on them but love them um oh another challenge fantastic and i don't have this one i don't think so that'll be great i'll be adding that one in once i've complete one of the ones i've got already um, but yeah here is it so i'll just pop this aside but these this is it 1k so i got it that her 1k challenge um uh set up so a uh, pack sorry i should say pack so kashi does come with a dashboard which is fantastic i can put the year in and also but i love how she's got here the why so my why and my why for this one will be setting myself up and 
yeah, looking after my family, really. So this is to set ourselves up to put towards this, which is to get ahead. And we'd like to get ahead a year ahead of everything. And look, my major plan, as you know from Dave Ramsey's, um, is I do not want any car loans. I do not want any debt. I want to pay for everything uh, and even really pay off our house early would be fantastic. So, and then look at an investment property from there. So, um, yeah, so this is what we've got. Sorry. So 1K challenge. And then what I will be doing is then, this is $1,000 altogether. So I'll be doing this. So every month on top of all my other binders I've got and the challenges, I'll be putting into here the, the four weeks of numbers of what I'll put in and that will add, add, add up to a thousand. But then in my rollover every single week without counting it and all the rest, I'll then be adding in my rollover into that as well. And then we can all count it at the end of the year and see how much over that thousand dollars we can get. So that's what I will be doing. Um, so on that note, in this is the rollover I had from January. Um, and I've got this pay to do as well, I think, which is from January still as well. So, and then all the coins too. I've actually got, um, I've deposited all the heap of coins that I had as well. So I'll put that one in the February one just because we're nearly up to February and, you know, I've got enough for this one. So at the moment from the last few weeks, I've accumulated 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180. So I've got that to pop into here. So I just wanted somewhere safe to put it. So that's why I wanted to just show you these now. Um, then I also have, I think, actually, do I have anything left? That's for the tennis I've got to pay, sports I've got to put back. I actually don't have anything else, sorry. I've got petrol, uh, fuel, which was, I've got $100 left over, but I'm actually keeping that in there to roll it over because I actually didn't need to spend that yet and I didn't get as much pay this week so that I've got to stuff after this video. Um, so I'm actually just going to keep that in there for that. So sorry, I know that's a little bit different. And then I actually have $120 in here, which I will take out now because why not, um, that I got from $120 worth of coins that I deposited. So I have $120 into there. So I'm actually going to put that. Um... I might put that just in here because that's really where it's from. So I got to follow the rules. So let me put $120 into there and I'll fill in these ones here, not with rollover. I will fill in these separately, just the actual money. So I'll keep that to the side. So this is rollover slash 1K challenge as well on top of it. So that'll be that there. I'll keep that to the side. Um, and then I'll just have a little bit look at my agenda so I remember what's going on. I'll just see if I've got any coins in here I've got to take out. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, I always have this odd earring in here. I can't even remember where the other one is. <laughs> so a dollar, two dollars. I've got two dollars to add in there. Then once I get like maybe once a month, I'll go in and deposit all the coins and then put that rollover into that binder as well. So we can keep it accurate. All right, so got my rollover done. Now my unstuff in. So I, being January, had a lot of bills that came out. So that I've needed to pay. Sorry. Now the first one is, so electricity um, did come out. So that was around a thousand, uh, and I've already taken that um, slip out because I had a thousand dollars in the bank. So that was easy just to pay. Um, Bank's looking a bit more lean now, though. <laughs> Council rates. I had $1,200 in the bank uh, set for that. That is all now paid and empty. That's what it's there for. I know it's sad seeing it go down, but, you know, that's that's not really sad. It's just all what's, <laughs> what's in our brain, which is wrong. So $2,000 in there for annual fees. So that is now gone. That was in the bank and I've now paid that, you know, over BPay or whatever it was um, over internet. Uh, I think that's it. So I've got council rates, which has paid it for the six months. I've got annual fees, which has paid it for the year. Electricity, I've already unstuffed. The pool maintenance, uh, I already did unstuff that. Um, it was actually $200 I had to take out because they had to actually put a fair bit of salt in it. 
And geez, it's a bit of a rip off, isn't it? We really need to maybe learn it. I've got a hundred left in there out of the two or 300 or so that was in there. So um, yeah, and because it's magnesium pool too. So it's, um, I did that because I didn't, you know, I thought maybe that would be a bit better on my daughter's skin being that she has eczema and things like that. So yeah, I'll just pay a bit more for that. Um, and hopefully a bit less in the long run for skincare. Uh, but actually her eczema has been pretty good and it's, there's been no flare ups, which is great. Even considering, you know, the heat that we've been having. Um, but you know, not tonight, I'm filming at night time, Friday night, um, got the air con on. But I get a bit cold, my hubby doesn't, who others husband <laughs> is the same as that. It's like night time, it's like doing her off him or comforter or I don't know what you guys call it over in the US. Um, we call it a doona off him and then, you know, me snuggled up all night long and then he likes the aircon on, I switch it off, it's on and off all night. It's just it's funny. Anyway. Pool maintenance, uh, and birthday. So we last time I spoke with you guys, we were going to mum's for um well it was to catch up because she had COVID over Christmas. But uh it was also her birthday too. So uh, I didn't actually have enough in here for her birthday because I only had $40 in here, but I bought her some flowers, chocolates. We didn't buy a heap because I already still hadn't given her a Christmas present. So it was like, um, yeah, I didn't want to just sort of do too much at once. But so birthdays, family and friends. So I'll just be unstuffing this, which is $40. Um, and then we'll need to start then stuffing that um, one again. Great. All right, so I'll put that to the side. All right, so that's pool maintenance, birthday, rollover. Oh, an emergency fund. I'm a list girl, as you can tell. Um, and I'm thinking about getting one of those she budget planners too because I'm thinking I didn't want to be too overwhelming with all of it, but I actually thought actually working stuff out, is that something you guys like to see? Just kind of let me know in the comments. I'm not too sure. Not sure if I'll do it or if I'll just do it off camera to the side myself, because I do a lot of that off camera anyway. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want to <coughs> do too much myself, but you know, because I have a full-time job as well. So I do want to get too overwhelming, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so I've actually got a lot of videos to come out. I've got going to do three every week upload. I'm going to aim to do that um, on those days that I mentioned. And then we will do, we have other ones. Like we have like when we do tax, when we have, you know, condensins, when we have new binders coming in, uh, there will be a lot of other uploads that I'll be doing for that as well. Plus, you know, how to videos, lots of things like that. So stick around and they will be coming. Um, yeah. So anyone interested, let me know. The only other thing I hadn't done was when I did this last time. So this is my kind of fun way I designed to do the 100 envelope challenge, but to save for our emergency fund. So we want to save $10,000 and we're going to do that by the end of the year. That is my goal. So this is how we're doing this. Now this is purchased from our local grocery store, which is around the country. And everyone would have seen them who were from Australia. Um, and they were only like $5 for the book. And then you just collected all these. Uh, when you bought your groceries. So it was actually pretty cool. And what I actually thought was, because there's numbers on each one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like all the way up to 100, I was like, that's like a 100 envelope challenge. So what I've been doing is just rounding up always as well. So we'll end up with over 5,000 at the end. Um, but I did fives, tens, some really, really cute characters as well. Uh, 20s. We did, what have we got here? 30s we're going to put in there. <clears throat> 40s. But I just wanted to check. So I actually, um, this is, our, I found this. Uh, and this is what we were using to actually track it. And I just needed to first update this. Um, first of all, because we did do a little stuffing of that last video. And I just wanted to make sure that this is all correct. So first of all, we've got the numbers to eight, done, to 17, done. As I said, I wing this, cause this actually, yeah, I don't plan these videos. <laughs> I wanna keep it as real as I can, cause that's the kind of person I am. So 18, 
really it's 18 to what 29 so you can keep going 29 so that's correct stops there starts again at 40 uh, we haven't done 41 I did a little bonus extra stuff in there which I was just surprised at the end 41 we haven't done 42 43 44 to 52 which is on there done so that's correct so just reset us ready for this being a priority for us <clears throat> now this is the new ones i stuffed so this was 79 and 80 and i had to find the cards <coughs> oh gosh i should have brought a drink <clears throat> sorry would have got 79 80 uh, iron man and rocket awesome so Iron Man is completed and Rocket is completed, which is number 7980. So 7980. Then we have 87 onwards, which is correct. So everything is good in there now to 100. Yep. So this is our 100 envelope challenge. Um, yeah, so we've got these ones to fill out, which is a nice way for me to track how much we need. Cool. So that is that. Fantastic. So life update. We went to mum's for a birthday for Christmas, had a really good catch up all up there. And that was actually really, really good because we, even though mum and dad are, my mum and dad are divorced. Uh, they divorced after about 27 years, actually three months before I got married. And um, yeah, they they were all there together, which is great because they get along, you know, they're both from UK. They migrated over here to Australia. And yeah, so technically I'm um, from Wales. Well, not, I'm not from Wales. My parents are Welsh, but um, I'm... Yeah, born in Australia, so we're Australian. Um, so hello to everyone in UK or in Wales, if that's where you are. But yeah, I'm Australian. Kids are born here. Husband's born here. I was born here. So we are Australian living in Queensland. So yeah, we had a really, really good catch up and like a chat about, you know, back in the old days, as in when we were younger, when we were kids, things like that. So it was actually really, really nice um, to do that. Um, and yeah, we found some like old family videos and stuff and then I was realized geez they're like 20 25 years old so I've actually I'm going to be transferring them or getting them done for me onto DVD which is really really great so there's that what else do we do oh and tomorrow we've got a lunch with my daughter's best friend's parents so we're just having a sort of an adult mingle lunch up in Noosa uh, on the Sunshine Coast so that'll be nice uh, I'll make sure I budget for that in my next video because <laughs> I'll need the money for that tomorrow um yeah that's pretty much life i haven't gone to the movies for a while even though it's something i totally love to do but there's literally nothing out i want to see i just it, to be honest a bit disappointed this time of year um but i yeah love 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 um movies <laughs> going to the movies um i guess i'm pretty a homebody sort of with that so anyway i won't ramble this is about budgeting We've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to go do my next cash stuff in now. So stick around um, and thank you for your time. Have a good night. Bye.